Hello guys, um, welcome back once more to my tutorial series. Um, my name is Anthony Emmanuel. Um, this time around, I'm trying about to show you um, the stack integration for Frappy ERP Next version 0 0.02. Um, the app has been up for a while, but this time it has been uh, revamped or kind of um, upgraded. So we have a paystack payment that is supported in some countries that can be used to collect payments directly from your um, ERP Next um, e-commerce, uh, either shopping cart or e-commerce from products and you pay directly. So I'm um, going to have a quick run on it. First off, you have on um, Paystack URL, you get description on how to set up the application. Uh, on Paystack, you have this, your key. So you use your live key for test, you use your test key, the secret key, the public key. Then this callback URL is very, very important. Just exactly like this. You see the callback URL, which I'm going to post in the blog post below this video. So you see, I have something like this. This first one will be your URL with this, the direct path to the method that verifies the payment. And that's for that. So we're going to check how to set up the paystack on our ERP Next instance, so Frappe instance. Um, you have this option or menu that says paystack on the side of your screen or this uh, menu. Then you click this one here, just save a payment history that comes from Pistack. And this other one is where you set up the integration. Uh, on the integration, you can click to add more integrations if you like, but I'm going to open the one I have set up already. So you add your uh, secret key here, uh, here for the public. The public is used for the payments, the private, the secret is used for verification of the payment. Then this live URL, though we are not using this for the now, but you can keep it here for the next upgrade. Then we have what we call whitelisted IP address. This time we only send payment information back to uh, your callback URL using either of these three URLs. So you, whenever in the future, if an extra uh, IP has been added or changed, you can always come here to add or edit the IP addresses. You can see that in the reference here. You see, is um, uh, this uh, this is for validating the signature, and this says watch the IPs. We only call your webbook from these IPs. This first one here, this one, and this one. So you add it here. If any payment that does not come from these three URLs will be rejected or discarded. That's it for the setup. Just your secret key, your public key, the callback URL from Paystack. And it's same with what you have here. Just drop it there. Then um, we are done with the setup. Next is to set up your e-commerce, your ERP Next e-commerce. Yes, uh, this e-commerce um, shopping cart has been replaced with e-commerce. If you're on version 13 points, 11.1 yeah this if you are on this version upwards you simply select uh e-commerce scroll down select the options you want scroll down you see the payment gateway you select this payment gateway this gateway will be automatically created once you create any of the paystack settings you to be automatically created as um payment account so you can select the gateway from here. You see <coughs> payment gateways to select. So you can actually select. Or it can get rid of this so you can see it's sure. So whichever one you create, you are going to see it. OK, and that's all. Once done, enable checkout and save. That's the first part. Um, so the next part is to make payment. So I'm going to head straight into the shop. Okay, I'm already on product page. I click on add item to cart, which I've already done here. You go to cart. That's going to open the cart. Okay, you have your cart details. Although that I, I don't think I uploaded images. You can select or add more items as you wish. 
um, place order. Um, okay, recall. Okay, I have to select my billing address. Yeah, so we are in the sales order. The status there says not paid and not delivered. Recall supported currencies are uh, Nigerian Naira, uh, Ghana, uh, Ghana cities. Uh, I think this is ZDR, should be for South Africa or US dollars. These are the supported currencies uh, by Pistac for the now. Although, if there are other ones I'm not aware of, but this is what I know that is supported for the now from the documentation. So we head back to the shopping. So here the setup says not paid and not delivered. And click on pay. It just takes you to the payment page. And if you check um, integration requests, you should see it's that's it. You can see that here just now. Um, you can open it to see the information. Uh, you see uh, the payment came from Paystack, uh, the few information about the payment, and I um, think uh, a payment request has also been created for this payment. Okay, and the status is currently on queue. Now this page we just load, once you click that page, it automatically loads for you, so you can make the payment, and if it does not load, you can still click on pay now, it brings this uh, interface back up. So since this kind of a test, I select success and pay. So this will validate. Um, since I'm on NGROC, see your payment has been received and will be processed shortly. You can check on my NGROC, you can see a request has just come back to my local machine. So this will process on its own in the background. Once I think it's processed completely. <coughs> Um, this should pay in a while, just in some minutes, based on um, what's going on in the background. We can also check this backstage to see the status. Now you see the payment is complete, so that should uh, be able to send out email to the customer that this order is complete. You can also refresh this, and we should see that, yeah, paid. And not delivered based on the settings of your items. Uh, if it's not a uh, deliverable items, it should be paid with drain. So that just it, and we can see it in the demonstration. We can also check um, the payment requests. This payment request, and um, we see that paid to customer the amount paid and every other information that concerns this payment. I think we can link to the um, sales order itself to see the item. Okay, uh, you can see that the sales order just a minute ago says to deliver Um, here is the information to see the items quantity to rates and the total amounts so everything uh complete then we can also check the pay stack dashboard to be sure that this payment came in um should be sure yeah. so you might have to reload this page to see the last payment was one thousand. 950 that should show up yeah here you can see it's payment successful and you can see the time this is 11 44 p.m and um though why we have this um time here is i think the pay stack server is one hour behind my own uh, server time. That's why you have this time difference. Okay, and that's all about it with the pay stack. Uh, you can get the description to install the application into your system. 
or into your ERP next on hand. If you need help or assistance with the uh, custom application, you can also uh, you know, contact me or drop your comments below in the video uh, in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe to my channel so you can get more updates on videos, tutorials relating to Frappy and ERP next. Thank you.